What's up you guys, welcome back. Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be doing a full face testing your absolute favorite makeup. I asked you guys on my Instagram story to let me know what your favorite makeup products of all time were and you guys came through and sent me all of your absolute top favorites. So I'm gonna be doing a full face, trying them all together today. I'm so excited. There was a lot of products in there that were my favorites as well, but then there were also some new products too. So I definitely tried to pick products that I wasn't super familiar with for this video so we can really see how they all work together. So I'm so excited. I love doing these videos where I can get Get you guys involved so make sure to follow me on instagram it's at kelly Strack official if you guys want to be involved in the next one or you guys like pick the makeup that i use because i love doing these be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started Alrighty, silver primer the most widely commented primer by far was the elf poreless putty primer but you guys already know i love this so we are going to be using this primer because it was definitely the most commented i am going to go in with another primer too that was very commented that i'm not as familiar with and that is the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I know I tried her original one which was more matte. This one's more hydrating. I think I've tried this but I honestly don't really remember my thoughts so I'm gonna go in with this on my skin to add some extra hydration. Oh my god the Fenty smell is so so good. Normally I don't love like when my primers and stuff are scented but the Fenty smell is just so delicious and that just melted into my skin like my skin just ate that up so that looks really really nice now of course we're gonna go in with the elf poreless putty because I need to and I'm just gonna apply this in the areas of my face that I have some beautiful texture um, which is right around this area on my cheeks this is really really nice to just quickly kind of smooth over any texture or like enlarged pores that you might have so I love using this and clearly you guys do too it's an incredible affordable product so just tapping that into those areas oh got some up there all right now for foundation there was such a variety of like foundations that people wrote in as their absolute favorite but the one that actually got the most votes surprised me a lot and that was the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation so y'all are trying to play me because you know that I have dry skin <laughs> and I know that I've tried this in the past and I'm pretty sure it's very matte I don't really use it because I think I thought it was too matte for my skin but um we're gonna use it today and we're gonna see. I did go in with a hydrating mask before we did this because I knew that I was gonna be using this foundation. I was like, okay, I need to prep my skin nicely. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Medium Neutral. I know this is supposed to give a really nice coverage though. So, you know, that's probably why y'all like it. I don't really know how much to use. That's probably too much. I'm just gonna use this big sponge to blend it out. I did prep my skin with my UFO 2 from the Swedish brand Foreo. You guys know that I love that little guy. I'll put a little clip on the screen of me using it. I use their H2O overdose mask, which is incredible and great to actually prep your skin before makeup. It gives me so much hydration. I love it. The UFO 2 is basically like a skincare infuser, so you can use it with their masks or you can use it with your own skincare and it really just helps the skincare penetrate deeper into your skin. It has cryotherapy, LED light therapy, thermotherapy, like it's basically bringing a spot at home to your house. I love mine. I've talked about it a lot of times on my channel, but I did use that to prep my skin today. Big shout out to them for partnering with me on this little section of today's video, but I genuinely love their products and I will have a link down below for you guys to check it out if you are at all interested. But honestly, this foundation is blending pretty well and actually look pretty beautiful. So maybe that really did help to prep the skin that and then we have the hydrating primer and stuff too. So we just, we added a lot of hydration and this actually looks pretty nice on the skin. So maybe that's the key if you're more of a dry skin girl like myself. Cause the coverage on this is like next level. Like my skin just looks like flawless. All right, you guys may be onto something with this foundation. Cause honestly, she's looking pretty good. It definitely has been like years since I've used this. So thanks for reintroducing me guys. <laughs> All right, now for concealer, the two most widely commented was Tarte Shape Tape and the e.l.f. camo, which you guys know I love them. I use them in literally like all of my videos. Like I'm using either one of those in almost all my videos. So I was like, all right, what is the third most popular? Cause you guys already know I like them. So it's like not as fun to try it, you know? So third most popular was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now I know this is a very, very popular concealer. I never got super into it. I have the shade Custard right here, but we're gonna go in and try it out because it has also been a very long time since I've used this and apply this to the under eyes. It's supposed to be like a fuller coverage concealer, but give you more of a glowy kind of dewy finish which sounds nice so let's let's see the doe foot is like super tiny but I mean most people don't use as much concealer as I do so 
it's probably fine for you. I'm just gonna put some in the center area of my face. A little on this blemish too, to try and conceal those out. It's a little lighter than the foundation, but I think it'll be okay. And let's go in and blend. I'm just using this um, e.l.f. sponge, which I've been loving. Ever since I did their, their new um, Camo CC Cream video, I've been loving using this sponge. It's just like so fluffy and blends everything so quickly because it's so big. Okay, this concealer is blending out really easily. Now let's just hope that it keeps the coverage on the under eyes. Looking like it actually is. Yeah, that actually looks really nice. It's a little less coverage, I would say, than like Shape Tape or the e.l.f. Camo, but it's still really nice and it's still covered up like my dark circles and stuff. And it does feel hydrating on the under eyes. It's not as matte as those two concealers are. Now let's blend this out on these blemishes. Yeah, this is nice. It has a good coverage. All right, you guys, so far we're doing pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna move into a powder. So many people said the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, which those are a product that I never feel like I really understood because I was always kind of like, is it a highlighter? Is it a setting powder? Like what is this product's purpose? Um, so I have this little palette from Hourglass. This is their Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture Palette. And it actually says like what each of the lighting powders is supposed to do on the back. So I'm I'm going to use the more yellowy toned one in the middle today to set underneath my eyes. I know these powders are pricey, which I feel like is why I never really got super into them. Like I used to like look at them at Sephora and be like, that's so pretty, but that's also so expensive. So I never really used them, but um, we're gonna see what all the hype is about because apparently y'all really like them. So I'm gonna apply this to the under eye. I found it to be interesting because a lot of the complexion products were skewed more towards higher end products like this, you know, like stuff you can find at Sephora where then everything else was skewed more towards drugstore, like affordable products. So it was interesting to kind of see like the mixture, like all the eye products and stuff were pretty much all drugstore that were the most widely commented. So I thought that was pretty cool. But I think this powder's whole thing is like, it's supposed to just give a very natural kind of finish like yet yeah, setting your makeup because it's a powder but it's not gonna like dry you out and still kind of leave you with a little something like a little glow and I mean it does look nice on my under eyes so I can't complain about how it looks it does look really pretty are there other products that are cheaper that probably you could achieve a similar look with probably but that doesn't mean that this is not a nice product so I can see why y'all like it and I'm gonna bring that just in the same areas that we did the concealer. So just kind of in the center planes of my face. You can use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders all over your face if you'd like to. But to set all over my face, I am gonna go with a different powder that was very highly commented that's more affordable because I wanted to give it an affordable option too. And that is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I couldn't agree more. I love this product. It's so good. It's one of my favorites from Maybelline. So I'm using shade light medium. I have just in the cap right there. I'm gonna just go in and dust this on the skin. I've always really liked these because they are tinted so they don't leave like this white cast to your skin and they also help to just add a little bit extra coverage without like drying the skin out. Like sets everything down but doesn't dry you. So I could not agree more with this pick of all over face powder because it's incredible and it's affordable. Alrighty, now for the brows, y'all like the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. So that is what I am going to be using today. I'm not sure what shade I have in this. I think it's taupe. So I am going to go in and sculpt out my brows with this. I personally like the CoverGirl Micro Brow Pencil and the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I also really like that one. Those are my two faves. But this e.l.f. one is working pretty well too. All right, brows are done. We're gonna go on to our eyes. And now the most highly commented eyeshadow palette. It surprised me, but then at the same time, it did not surprise me because it is an older palette, but y'all still love the original Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. So I had one of these and I think I gave it away, but thankfully I had another one. This is such a beautiful palette, so I can totally understand why. Lots of versatility, so many different options, and y'all love this. And this is such an older palette too, so I don't really pull for it very often. So I'm excited to actually do like a look with this for all you guys that have this palette. So this is what we are gonna be using today. We're gonna go with the neutral transition shade first and Jacqueline gave us about 750 neutral transition shade options. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one right here first. And I'm just gonna go in and buff this into my crease. This is a matte shade, but I love that this palette has, has so much versatility. Like there's matte shades, there's shimmer shades, and there's also a lot of versatility in colors. There's a lot of neutrals, but then there are some pops of colors in here too. So it was definitely a well thought out, nice palette. So I'm glad that I pulled it out of the the archive, the archive folders, and you guys got me using it again. I think I wanna do like a halo kind of eye today, so I'm gonna go in now with this shade right here. A Little bit more warmer, kind of like purpley undertones, but still brown. And I'm gonna work this into the crease, but then we're gonna work on doing, this brush is like 
all messed up, hang on. All right, we got another brush. So I'm gonna work this into the crease and then we're gonna work on building out the halo. All right, now we're gonna start to build the halo. So I'm gonna go in with this darker shade right here and I'm gonna work that into the inner corner. Ooh, she is pigmented, honey. So I'm gonna work this in the inner corner like so and then in the outer corner as well, leaving the center of the eye clean. And we're gonna go back in and blend everything so you don't have to like worry about this being, you know, exact or perfect. And then just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. All right, we got that all done. So now in the center for the little spotlight, I'm gonna go in with this light pink shade. I think I'm gonna go in with my finger with this because it is a shimmer. And then we can use a brush if we need to, but I'm just gonna Go with my finger and pack this right in the center. Ooh, yes, this is so pretty. Love. And it gives kind of this like spotlight effect to your eyes. I'm sure you guys, you know, this is not revolutionary. I'm sure you've seen other people do this, but I don't normally do my eyeshadow like this, but it is so, so pretty. Wanted to do something a little different today. That shimmer is everything. Okay, same thing on the other eye now. Packing the shimmer with your finger works really nicely. Now I'm gonna take that same shimmer shade and just work it in the inner corner as well, just to make that pop. And then I'm gonna work it right beneath the brow bone too. I definitely understand why after so many years, y'all still really love this palette because it really is a good palette. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's like a really deep purple. And I'm gonna go in with a tiny little brush and just pack that super close to the lash line. And then we're gonna go back in with a different shade to buff it all out. I'm gonna kind of flick this up a little bit. We're gonna go in with liner anyways, but I'm just gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go with this shade right on top of that on a fluffier brush and go in and buff and blend that all out. Okay, loving the eye look. It came out so pretty. Thank you guys for getting me to use this palette. Okay, for our liner, the one you guys loved the most is from e.l.f. and it's their H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. I also really, really like this one. So we are gonna go in and do our liner with this today. This is also super affordable because it's e.l.f., which is great. The only thing I wish with this is it's like more of a pen instead of like a brush. I prefer more brush tip, but a lot of that is personal preference. I just wish the tip was like a little bit more flexible because sometimes it can be difficult to do a wing, but I feel like today I'm doing it. Yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. I feel like my liner is a little bit like distant cousins today instead of twins, but it's okay, we're rolling with it. I feel like whenever I try and like even out my liner, if my wings aren't the same, then it just progressively gets like worse and worse and I should have just left it how it is in the first place. So that's what I'm doing today. For a waterline liner, y'all said my absolute favorite, which is the cream gel liner from ColourPop. Couldn't agree more. I'm going in with the shade Exit, which is the white one today. Their cream gel liners are just fabulous for the waterline. I love them. So I'm gonna just go in with this. I always make the ugliest faces when I apply my waterline liner. Sorry guys. For mascara, there was a lot of different ones. A lot of you guys said the Too Faced Better Than Sex, which you know I love. I've used it in so many videos. A lot of you guys said the Lancome are Big, which I also love. But the most widely commented was the Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Mascara. It has been so long since I've used this, but I remember when this first came out, it was like such a big hit. So we are gonna go in with this today. I'm gonna apply it to my lower lashes and my uppers. I remember it was this mascara, and then there was also like the one in the orange tube. I think that one's from CoverGirl, the Lash Blast. I think is what it's called. Those two were like the biggest, like most popular mascaras. All right, that did a pretty good job my lower lashes. Now for my upper, which is where we will really see. This is definitely like a thicker kind of consistency mascara, which is how I personally like my mascaras. I feel like more runny ones just like never work on my lashes. Like I need something that's thicker. And that's exactly what this seems like. Yeah, this is packing on a ton of volume, which is really nice. We're gonna go in with lashes too, but still good to know that this works really well on my natural lashes without falsies. All right, now we're gonna pop on lashes. Y'all said the House of Lashes Iconics. There was somebody that made these like super, super popular. I don't remember who it was either. It was like Desi or K Katie or somebody that always used these that I feel like put the House of Lashes Iconics on the map and I feel like they're their most popular lash now and you guys love them. A lot of you guys said the Salon Perfect 614s that I use all the time, but again, I use them all the time. So I figured we would try something a little different. I don't know that I've ever used the House of Lashes Iconics before. I've used House of Lashes lashes, but I don't know about these specifically. So I'm gonna go in with them. They look really beautiful. Let's see how they look on the eye. Ooh, they're nice and fluffy. Y'all like some drama drama, I see. Really, really pretty. 
pretty. I'm gonna pop them on the other eye as well. All right, now while we let the lash glue dry, we're gonna go ahead and finish off our face. So, so many of you guys said one of my old favorites, still a favorite of mine, I just don't use it as much anymore, but it is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I used to use this every single day for every single thing because it literally has everything that you need. I love it so much, so I totally see why you guys love it. I just feel like there's always so many new products coming out, so I always try new things. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so we're gonna go in with Tropic Like It's Hot to bronze up the skin. And this is a full face palette, so there's bronzers, highlights, blushes, like everything you need to do your entire face. Like you could even do your eyes with it with the bronzers, which I used to do. So lots of versatility. So I'm just gonna go in and bronze up the skin. The bronzer I'm using right now has a bit of a sheen to it, but then there's also a matte bronzer, which we'll use to contour. Grabbing the matte bronzer to contour, just contouring out the cheekbones like so. And then also gonna contour out the sides of my nose too, just to make sure it looks nice and straight. For blush, I'm just gonna mix together the two blushes in the palette because I can't decide. I love them both. So I'm just gonna do a little mix a -roo of both on my cheeks. And now there are two highlights in this palette. So like I said, it's a full face palette, but I am gonna be using a different highlight that you guys recommended because a lot of you guys said these Milani highlights, which I've tried highlights from Milani that are in like palette form, but I don't think I've ever tried these like standalone ones. So I have two. These are both of their baked highlighters. I have 120 and 110. I think I'm gonna use 110. It's a little lighter, but it's more pink toned because it goes better with our eyes. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh, okay, excited. So I'm just gonna pop that on like so. Oh my gosh, you guys are not playing around. <gasps> so, so pretty. Wow, that's beautiful. <gasps> you know me. I love highlights, love to glow. I wanna glow to Mars, be seen on another planet, but this is so beautiful. Wow, okay, obsessed. Just gives like the prettiest glow. Woo, when the light hits it, yes. You guys have not done me wrong today, okay? Props to y'all because you guys have some good picks. Okay, okay, this next one, I need to see what the hype is about on this because a lot of people said this, and this is an expensive product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. So let me just see how expensive this is because I know it's pricey. Okay. Yeah. It's $34. That's expensive for a lipstick, but a lot of people said this. So I'm like, okay, I swatched on my hand the other day. I mean, the shade does look pretty. It does go very well with our eye look. So, I mean, we're going to see what it does for our lips. Cause y'all like this $34 lipstick. So, okay. Ooh, smells really good. Does definitely smells good. Shade is really pretty. Cause to like put it in as an example, like Mac are really like the bougiest lipsticks I feel like I use and those are like $18. So this is a lot more expensive, but I mean the shade is beautiful. It's kind of like a, a pinky nude, but almost has like a purpley, more cooler toned undertone. It actually goes like perfectly with our eye look. So that worked out nicely. It feels very, very creamy on the lips too. Like does not feel drying or anything at all. So would I really spend $34 on this? I don't know. But is it nice? Yes, definitely. For a gloss, a lot of you guys said the Kylie glosses, which I don't think I've ever tried a lip gloss from Kylie. I tried her lip kits, but I don't think I've ever tried one of her glosses. So I have her gloss in Snatched right here because I thought the shade went nice with the lipstick. Looks like this. This one also smells really good. Mmm. Wow, yeah, this is nice too, actually. Very juicy and glossy. Not sticky at all though, which is actually really nice because it's really shiny, but this is like not sticky at all. It's a very like glidable gloss. So that is really nice. Okay, Kylie, blessing us with her lip glosses. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have setting spray. A lot of you guys said the Urban Decay All Nighter, which you know is my favorite. I love that. But then a lot of you guys said the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow. So I was like, okay, let's try it. So I'm gonna shake this up a little bit. I don't know that it really needs to be shaken, but does it say? Okay, yeah, it does say shake well, so good. I don't think I've tried this. I'm gonna test out the sprayer. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm gonna hold it kind of far. Mm. Okay, that actually wasn't bad. I thought that it was gonna be, I feel like I've tried a spray from Catrice before, but I don't think it was this one. And it was very like water gun to the face, like. but this one was not really that bad at all. Maybe because I held it farther away, I don't know. It definitely has a scent to it, it's like rose scented, but it's not like super overwhelming. So I could see, I could see why you guys like this. And it is a lot more affordable than the Urban Decay All Nighter, so there's that too. Alrighty you guys, so that is everything. I love the way this look came out. Like I feel like it looks so pretty. Y'all really pulled through for me to come up with a beautiful look. So thank you guys so much for sending in your pics. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.